I greet everyone here present, those also watching us, with the peace of the Lord, and by those who are able to stand. Let's read the word of the Lord, the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 6, and we will read verse 10. It's been a long time that since we've preached this song, this verse here, right? Right? It's kind of complicated, huh? Let's read all together. Let's read. Who is she who looks forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear? as the sun, awesome as an army with banners. Amen. Church may be seated. <clears throat> Brethren, many of us know very well the revelations they are inserted in the book of the Songs of Solomon. Because we have seen throughout our history, our existence as a church, body of Christ, we have received many teachings, many words, many messages, studies in our manaims, our churches, many teachings that the Lord has, has given us. And many here know the story and the beauty contained in this book. Especially the books of Solomon and the Revelation. If we, if we don't go to the Revelation part of it, to the, what is the project of God, if we don't, if we don't leave this, this human level of knowledge of concept if we don't dive deep in the spiritual part of it we will not understand any of these two books because many talk about that this book is a poetry but for us the lord has given us the understanding that this book of the song of solomon it's all prophetic. Totally prophetic. Because this book speaks clearly. Let's, let's go back a little bit for those who are coming in, for those that may need to, to position themselves in the story of the church, the history of the church, so we can all follow what's God's will. The book of the Songs of Solomon presents to us about thousand years before Jesus and the church appears. It presents the whole history of the church. It presents the whole project of salvation of man in Jesus. We will see here illustration of the Father illustration of the Son and the Holy Spirit and also the illustration of the church so here we see the whole history the prophetic history of the church the book shows it talks about a love love that is not a love that we the kind of love that we we feel towards another uh, uh, towards a father from a father to a son or, or husband and wife no but it talks about a love of God for the church and the love of God for men 
And here we will see the story of this love that involves a what? A wedding. The wedding of the groom and the bride. The wedding of Jesus with the church. And we will see everything that the, the groom did for his bride. We'll see here. We will see that the groom he left his glory, his splendor, when was needed, when was necessary, represented, representative from heaven here in earth, on earth. Jesus offered himself. So he is the groom. So Jesus, since the beginning, and we can even imagine a, a talk, a conversation in heaven. Imagine that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in front of the angels when they were talking about salvation. What can we do to save men? God could do it. Let's save men. He could say it and that was done, right? Yes. God is everything. He has all the power. But that's not how he does it. For loving men, when was necessary, Jesus positioned himself. He said, Father, I'll go. So Jesus emptied himself, left his glory. Today, earlier, we talked about it. He left everything in heaven, made himself man. And here, he lived a life just like we do. We do. No one does that if it's not for love. Not even a, a, a flesh love, like, a, like a, 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 a love of a man to a woman. No, only the love of God. That's why Jesus came to this world as the groom of the bride and for loving his bride and for loving my life and yours, for loving our lives, Jesus, he defeated everything for us. He defeated our sickness. He defeated our steps. He defeated those that, that, that mistreat us. Those that persecute us. Defeated our greatest enemy, the death. He defeated everything for loving men. Now he dies. So now he goes back to heaven. He goes back to, father, to the Father. That was the project of God. But now, so when he dies, now the bride appears. The church now and, and the opposite. Now the church for loving Jesus leaves everything behind. And what do we have as everything? Jesus left his glory. He left eternity. And we, for loving him, we will leave everything. What do we have here? The world. The pleasures of this world. The pleasures that surround us. Things that are ahead of us that we don't see. We will leave the addictions, the bad habits, the evil, the evilness, the sin, the failure, deception, disillusion. We will leave all these things behind. Nothing else. And now for the church for loving Jesus, for loving this project, we'll leave all that. For what? So we can meet with Jesus in heaven. Because if we don't leave these things behind for loving God and the salvation in Jesus, it makes no sense, everything that was done. So now this text that we read in particular talks about the church itself. Who is she who looks forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, awesome as an army with banners? So brethren, when Jesus goes, now he leaves the church. The church now shows up. And we see here, 
Solomon, he refers the church. So men can understand the revelation through this text as, as, as if it was the same way it was explained last Sunday. So the church it was presented by what? By the moon. Why the moon? Because the moon doesn't shine by itself. It has no light. The moon cannot have life by itself. And that's how man is. Man cannot define his own things. But when Jesus leaves, the church appears. Once, once upon a time, Jesus was here. And wherever he went, he, was, he would heal, he would preach. And once the disciples of, of John came, we fast, other fa others fast, and why is that your disciples don't fast? And Jesus explained it. He said, when the groom is present and the feast, there is no, it's not necessary to fast. Can, can are, are those, those that are by the, by the feast, are they able to be sad? So what, what he was saying is, while the groom is here, he's present. There's no need to fast. Jesus, in this, in the word of God, he is represented as the son of righteousness. And as and while Jesus was here during his ministry, that he was 33 years in this earth, on this world earth, he was as the sun at noon, in the highest of, the of his, his splendor. And once the, the sun leaves, what comes in is night, the moon. So while Jesus was here, the sun of righteousness. That's why people would, when they would go to Jesus, they would leave amazed. The dead? What happened to the dead? He would raise up again. He would be raised. Going to the cemetery. What happened? If he would meet Jesus. What happened? The, 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 the young man. The son of the widow. What happened to him? He was going towards the cemetery. What happened? Resurrected. The daughter of a, of a, of a prince of, a, of the synagogue had just died. So what happened? Jesus goes there and rises her up. But it's, if it's dead for about four days, it doesn't matter. The Son of Righteousness is present. And if at any place that he would get, just like Lazarus did, oh, he's blind. Since he was born, you will see. He can't walk. He can't walk. He will walk. He's by the tank. At the well of Bethesda, waiting for 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 the angel to to steer the water, and no one would help him. Everybody would go ahead of him. What happened? Jesus showed up. He walked. Why? Because Jesus was present. The Son of Righteousness was here. Now he leaves. Comes in the church. The moon and the night. Is the moment of what? Of darkness. It's a moment of uncertainties. It's a moment of darkness. And that's moon. That's the moon. That's man. He's insecure. Man is he's uncertain. He's evil. He, he thinks only about the things. It's very hard for a man to want the best for someone else. It's, it's, it's in our nature. 
but the moon here. The text says it is the, the church is fair as the moon. Have you seen a, a full moon? Is there anything better, that, like um, more beautiful than that? A full moon up there, right? It's, um, so why? Because the sun, the, the moon reflects the, the, the light of the sun. If it wasn't because of the sun, nobody would like to, the moon to see the moon. And if it wasn't for the sun of righteousness, if reaching the moon, man, the church, the church of God would not be called a compare. The church is fair as the moon. So the church shines. I mean, the church shines in this world. In our midst, in the time of God, wherever you go, be in your workplace, at home, in the streets, hospital, supermarket, wherever you are, if you are Church of Christ, you will be a, a representative of the church and fair as the moon. And you will shine as Jesus shined. For you take, carry the revelation of God, the mysteries of God, the knowledge of something that's hidden for many. But many have rejected, which is the salvation in Jesus. So the church needs to shine as a sun. Awesome as an army of banners, with banners. Because the church is a winner. That's why wherever the church passes by, proclaims, praise the Lord, hallelujah, God is the king. Me and my home, my home and I, we serve the Lord. The Lord has sustained me till now. That's wherever the church goes, it declares that God is present in its midst. For we carry the banner of victory. In the midst of our tribulations and trials. But in all that, if we are faithful to the Lord, we, will, we can decree our own victory. And it's interesting that the moon, with all its beauty in space, in heaven, I mean in the sky, the, the church talks about the, 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 the celestials. It's, all, it's like the morning. That's why the church in every single moment of the day, it represents Jesus, the salvation in Jesus. Even in the morning, it's compared as the morning. As the early dawn. Throughout the night, the church is always present. It's present in the, in the history of of this world and if it wasn't for that we would not have the world if it was not for the presence of the church for the mercy of God preserving the church keeping the church I don't know what would be of this world this is notorious there's no way for me to run away from it we can't ignore the story of the history of men in Jesus Jesus came to this world he was born, he made himself man, and he defeated all things. You can believe, you cannot believe, but you need to understand, and you can't, that you can, that you have to admit, that Jesus, he made a difference in this world. Before Jesus, and after Jesus. Right? You may even ignore this. You may not even accept it. But you can't, you can't run away from it. Because everything that you do, if you, if you sign a check today, if you do a contract, and if this check has a date, today is what? February 8th of 2020. You already acknowledged that Jesus exists. Even unconsciously, just by the way how you, you write down a check or any contract, 
you acknowledge that Jesus came to this world and died for you. Because that's the, the history of man. It's divided by before Jesus and after Jesus. There's no way for me to run away from it. That's why Jesus is so important to us. He's everything to us. And now, he goes, he leaves, and the church takes over. The word, as, as the word has shown, the figure, the, the, the illustrations of Jesus. Now, I'm talking about the moon. The importance of the moon in this world. The importance of the church to the world. The difference that the church has to make. The job that the church has of being a representative of a people, a people elected, chosen by God to live in, ha on, in heaven. And not, and not in, the, in the, the top of the mouth. In, in, in Portuguese, there's only one word. But in English, there's two words, right? You have sky and heaven. In Brazil, there's only one. That's why when you say heaven, you point. Because they, they don't know what you're talking about. But that's where that we want to go. Man needs to understand that. The moon, with all its beauty, and everything that has, if you wasn't by the, for the sun, you would not have it have any value you'll be just any um like a celestial body but the church of, of god when the holy spirit is upon this church has a government it may it makes a difference because we'll be admired by everyone it's it's a shame that when church when jesus comes to rapture his church many will be will miss it and and they will repent themselves say i lost my opportunity i should have been there that was my place and i didn't know i rejected i ignored i criticized made fun of it but that was my place the moon the, the moon has how many cycles Four, right? These are the, the, the younger, the youngsters. They don't know, right? The church, the, I mean, the moon, excuse me, has four phases. Every week there is a face. There is. You have a um, You have four phases of the moon. And each phase, it's a phase of the church. When, when, when man comes from the world, he comes into a school. And this school takes man to go through these four phases. First, is the quarter, quarter moon. No, it's, it's a quarter moon. Think about a, 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 like a nail. And then it, it, it goes, it, it, it disappears little by little. It disappears little by little until it's completely gone. That's the phase of man. Because when he when he comes here, he needs to disappear. He needs to he needs to um just vanish himself, empty himself. All the the, the, the dirt, the, the the bad thoughts, the bad habits, the bad ideas, the way how he speaks. the way how to deal with people when he comes to the presence of the Lord and he discovers the son of righteousness and he discovers that there is a new life and he discovers that there is a new hope a reason to live when he comes in 
he discovers that Jesus dies, died for him. And for loving Jesus, he leaves everything behind. That's the face of the, of the crescent moon. He empties he empty himself, leaves these things behind for loving Jesus, for the, for the salvation in Jesus. He gives these things away. But the word talks about it. Why? Because the, the importance is for men to disappear and Jesus to be shown. There, that is one of the best phases for the new believer. When he comes, he comes with an open chest. He goes against everything, against everyone. Why? For loving Jesus. For that opportunity of being eternal, having a reason to live. Now the Holy Spirit begins to work in his life from inside out. It cannot be from the outside in. It has to be the inside out. He needs to open his heart. He needs to know Jesus. He needs to know the mysteries that are in the Word. And he's, he's amazed with all that. And he dives. And then the Holy Spirit starts to testify. Look, you can't do this. Not that. Don't do that. Leave this behind. Because what you did did not please me. You don't have the need the pastor to say it. No one to be on top of it. Because when you accept with an open heart, the Holy Spirit begins to work in it. And He begins to fade. And after this phase, He comes the full. I mean, the... the the empty. The old things have passed. And here now, the new... The new things have come. The old things... The old man, old myself. Now everything is new. For he's amazed. Wow. I went to that church. God spoke to me. I went there. God healed me. I went there. It's just a little time. And now he begins to be a witness. And now he's a new creature in Jesus. And now he starts to preach and live the word. Now he's a new creature, a new person. He has a new testimony to give. And now he's impressed. To wherever you call him to go to, he goes. He praises the Lord. And he's willing to do anything because he's a new creature in the Lord. And then comes the crescent moon. He starts to grow in the grace of the Lord and dives deeper and deeper. The more he knows, the more he wants. Now the, the, he starts to fast, he starts to pray. And now everything, everything is, is news. You say something, he writes down, he seeks the word, but he's, he has a curiosity because he wants to know. He goes and buys a Bible, he buys a dictionary, he, he, he searches, re researches everything that's part of, the, part of the project. For now, he's full of the Holy Spirit. He's, he's taken by the Holy Spirit, completely involved, as if he's diving and has no more control in his own life. But for now, the Holy Spirit has total control upon his life for those that are deep. And now, the full moon. Why? The full moon confirms what's everything, everything that's prophesied about your life. If you go through all these phases, you're completely taken by the Spirit. No one steals your blessing. No one confuses you. 
for your experience was not with a, a leader, a leadership, or with a title, or or with a label, but it was with Jesus because you were you're you're tested, you were taught, and you you lived all that, and now now you're full, full of the grace of God, full of the love of God, full of what the Lord has for us eternal life the blessing there's this will to live in, in, in heaven and nothing in this world no one in this world will interfere with your intimacy with God with your fellowship with God and this word talks about exactly that the moment when the, the, the moon begins to be a representative of God in this earth. I don't know which part you are in it, right? It's, it's hard to say it. But if you, if you have gone through some of these phases, maybe in the, in the middle of it, open your heart. Let the Lord to give you the growth that you need. Let the Lord to fill your heart with blessing. Let the Holy Spirit to fill your life with this certainty that's good to live in heaven. There's nothing better in this world than to have a guarantee to be certain that if Jesus comes back now, you will be in heaven with him. Nothing will be will obstruct you. But there is a, a, a phenomenon, phenomenon that happens sometimes with the moon. What's, what's, a, what's an eclipse? Here's the sun, here's the moon, and the earth. So the sun reflects its own light on the sun, on the moon. So the, the moon receives the light and reflects its light, the, sun, the sun's light on earth. But there is a moment that the earth it gets in the middle between the sun and moon. There is the, 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 the sun, the eclipse of the sun and the eclipse of the moon. When that happens, the, the light the light of the sun is obstructed and you can't reach the moon and so the moon loses all the, the, the beauty that the Bible refers to and what does that want what does the Lord want that for us there, there are a lot of believers that are leaving the things of this world to take away his fellowship and you and you realize that when all of a sudden he begins to miss the services to speak differently he says look the man is doing a certain thing look look this is what happened it's it's not it's not looking good he's fighting at home you go there there's a, such a struggle at home it's fighting there's no peace it's terrible what's going on what's happening so you call let's talk what's 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 happening he said pastor look don't worry about it pastor don't 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 worry about it it happens When the person lets the things of this world to get in the way of his fellowship with the Lord, you lose it. You lose the, the touch of the Holy Spirit. But tonight the Lord wants us to understand that. And for us to go up to heaven, we need to defeat all that. It's not worth it. We have come up to here. We have defeated up to here. It's not worth it for the last moment, the last seconds. You leave, you let the things of this world to steal your blessing. And you know how that happens? It's very subtle and slow. You start watching something that does not please the Lord. Maybe a magazine, maybe a, a movie, maybe a friendship, maybe an, a bad influence from someone else. Little things. Little things that come up that obstruct the revelation of God, the operation of the Holy Spirit in your life. 
and you begin to lose your blessing. You begin to lose your revelation, the revelation of God, your beauty, and you, and you begin to, to get into a complete darkness. If you, don't, if you don't run away from this, if you don't defeat that, spiritual death. That's why the Lord tonight wants us to exercise the prayer, the means of grace. That's the only way we will win. The servant of God that is starting to get into this situation, he needs to reprimand fury of the adversary. Because that's his intention, to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But tonight the Lord wants us and wants us to be what he, what he has for us. Do you want to be do you want to be a servant of God? A full moon? A moon that will reflect the salvation in Jesus? Do you want to be just like Moses? Elijah? The disciples? Paul? Right? Pray to the Lord. Seek the Lord. And if you will see how Jesus will reveal himself to you. For the groom, he does that. The more the bride... The, the, as the date of the wedding gets closer, the, the, the more the groom, the, the groom reveals himself. And the bride wants to be prepared. And we live a moment where we need to be closer to the God, to, to, to the Lord, and not let the world to interfere in the things of this world to get in the way of our fellowship with the Lord. Amen? Let's sing a song.
invite the church to stand. Let's have a word of praise. Oh Lord, we praise you for the beauty of your holiness. We exalt you, Lord, for one day you sent your only son to die on our behalf for today so today we could have life eternal life we praise you lord for your word your revealing word it speaks to us we praise you lord for tonight is a, it's a night of freedom of salvation and we worship you lord for it is good to look to serve you we praise you for your grace in jesus name amen, amen. The Lord showed, as we were praying for the service, two spiritual gifts. In one of them, the Lord showed about a woman that comes here tonight, and she's seeking an answer about her family, Some, something that, that she's seeking uh, to resolve an issue for her family, especially a solution involving her kids and the Lord tells her that he wants to reveal himself to her directly but she needs to exercise the prayer certainly you, ha you haven't you have not prayed enough maybe if you're praying um, you're praying wrong the Lord tells us the way how to pray to who to pray and how to pray so you need to comprehend that the prayer as the song that we sang will take you will make you reach the heart of God but for that to happen you need to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus if you do so him, Jesus, who is our advocate, he would stand up before the Father and he will ask on your behalf. He will be your advocate before the Father. Because he, he promised that, that we, that we would not be orphans. We would not be without someone that would go ahead of us in winning our battles. Jesus is everything to us. Pray with faith and seek the blessing for your home, for the lives of your, of your, of your children. That's, that's, that's the job of a mother, of a mother and, and the parents in general. And also the Lord showed a man that I will read the gift so we can understand it's, it's just like as if the man was was digging digging a land and he's digging digging seeking he's searching for a, a precious stone and there digging without finding but knowing that very deep there's something very precious there and there as he digs it came a flood a big flood came and everything that he did was undone because the, 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 the flood came and brought all the, the, the dirt that he had dug out and now he went back to the, to the zero, to point zero and that's what the flood does because the flood the rain comes strong and now starts to take and carry everything that's in front of it dirty things garbage we see the floods we see in the news when that happens it takes people it takes cars bikes that's what the flood does why the things of the world that comes to steal our blessings. So what the Lord is saying to this man, you who have been seeking the Lord deeply with your spiritual life, with the understanding that you are on the right path, seeking the Lord Jesus, for there is something precious in there that, that will save you, that will give you salvation. But the world many times wants to get in the way. The world stands up because they know 
the world knows that you are precious to the Lord. And if you are precious to the Lord, you are a target to the enemy. So don't give, don't give up. If you have to start again, start again. For the secret is to persist, to persevere, to defeat the struggles with the weapons of God. The world gets in, gets in the way, to take away your peace, your certainty, but you are in the right path. Just wait for it. For the help will come from the Lord. We will end the service, and if you if you want a prayer, maybe if you have identified yourself with any of these gifts, if you're living something similar, just comes to come to us, and we because you want to we want to pray with you, so you may be blessed by the Lord. Let's close our eyes. Oh Lord, accept the prayer or the prayers that were made here tonight, and that your word. The, pray, the songs that we sung, the prayers that were made, the glorifications, the intercessions, all of them may be received by you. And you may answer with power. Teach us, Lord. Teach us to wait on you, to trust on you. Make our faith grow. The desire in our hearts to be eternal. Take away, Lord, anything that is not part of the Son of God. Take away anything that's not part of the servant of God. In this service, as we come back home, we may have the understanding about the salvation in Jesus. Don't let us make mistakes. Don't let us be deceived. But your hand may be stretched forth upon each one of us. Bless our lives our families, our professional lives, our health, operate, Lord, so your name may be glorified in the name of Jesus we pray. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the kind and gentle consolations of the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon us now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. Just raise your hand and we will go to you to assist you to all. Peace of the Lord. Just reminding everyone, service tomorrow at 10.30. We'll be here once again with our Sunday school to all. Peace of the Lord.